हेलो एवरीवन टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द नेशनल विटामिन ए प्रोफाइलेक्सिस प्रोग्राम सो दिस विल बी आवर स्कीम ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ विटामिन देन सम स्टेट्स रिलेटेड टू द विटामिन ए एंड विटामिन ए डिफिशेंसी हिस्ट्री एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द विटामिन ए प्रोफाइलेक्सिस प्रोग्राम वेरियस मैनिफेस्टेशन of vitamin a deficiency contributory factors which uh, contribute to vitamin a deficiency in the community and finally the recommendations so firstly let's discuss about the classification of the vitamins so vitamins have been broadly classified into two categories water soluble and fat soluble vitamins so water soluble vitamins are the vitamins which are easily soluble in water Uh, these are again uh, divided into two categories firstly vitamin c which is also known as ascorbic acid and second category is the vitamin b and vitamin b have some other uh, sub categories other types uh, like vitamin b1 b2 b3 and others when we see the fat soluble vitamins so there are four fat soluble vitamins vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k so out of these four fat soluble vitamins today we will be discuss about the vitamin a so let's have a discussion about the vitamin a vitamin a is a essential one of the essential vitamin for functioning of the immune system immune system is our defense mechanism of our body so that Uh, pathogens can uh, be prevented from entering the body and we can fight against these pathogens by this immune systems another important task of this vitamin a to maintain the epithelial cellular integrity and reproduction so this vitamin a it prevents the unregulated leakage of the very important materials across the bo- across the border across the barrier which this barrier is created by the intercellular adhesions and as well as by the junction between the epithelial cells another function very important function of vitamin a is it helps in healthy growth and development of the children so these are the main function of vitamin a and it has been found that vitamin a deficiency is one of the leading cause of preventable childhood blindness so this blindness are preventable means this can be prevented by the applying the appropriate means it has it has also been found that if any children is suffering from measles and that child develops vitamin a deficiency so both of these increases the risk of death in that children there is higher risk of mortality in that children apart from this it has also been found that th- there is increased risk of death from common childhood infection like measles and other infections which causes the diarrhea if it is present along with the vitamin a deficiency so other infection which causes diarrhea means it can be due to the viral infection or it can be due to the bacterial infection so in viral uh, in infe- uh, viral infection causing diarrhea uh, examples are uh, rota virus infection there may be infection by the norvoc virus in bacterial infection it can be due to the salmonella vir- uh, bacteria shigella bacteria or vibrio cholerae bacteria etc so in the year 1996 who has recommended that the places which has been declared as a public health problem the location where the vitamin a deficiency has been declared as a public health problem in that region or location we need to provide the vitamin a supplementation to the children so following to that in the year 2013 who classified vitamin a deficiency 
as a public health problem why because it was found that out of 3 children about one children in the age group of 6 months to 59 months was having vitamin a deficiency so in such condition we will be uh, recommending for vitamin a supplementation why uh, who has recommended for vitamin a supplementation because it was found that if vitamin a is supplemented every 6 month uh, uh, time period it is one of the inexpensive way one of the quick way and very effective way to improve the vitamin a status of the uh, children and ultimately it will be reducing the childhood mortality and morbidity it was also found that vitamin a supplement uh, vitamin a supplementation uh, has ability to reduce the risk of all cause mortality and it is by 12 to 24 portion it a, it is a very big number so by applying vitamin a supplementation we can reduce the mortality in among the children of age group 6 to 59 months coming to the statistics related to the vitamin a and deficiency so it is found that prevalence of clinical and subclinical vitamin a deficiency is the uh, is the highest in india in the world so clinical deficiencies of vitamin a are those where children shows any kind of signs and symptoms related to the vitamin a deficiency however the subclinical vitamin a deficiency is the condition where children doesn't show any kind of sign and symptoms this vitamin a deficiency can be only diagnosed either by the lab investigation or by the imaging techniques in the decade of 1950s and 1960s it was found that blindness due to the vitamin a deficiency it is one of the major cause of blindness among the children of less than 5 years of age group a field trial was conducted by the nin national institute of nutrition and it showed that when we are administering the children of age group between 1 to 3 years by massive dose of vitamin a that is 2 lakh international unit so in that condition the condition incidence of newly cases of corneal xerophthalmia can be reduced by 80% so reduction of 80% is a very uh, big number there there is one uh, UNICEF global database which was released in released in the year 2021 and this uh, database was based on the administrative reports from the various countries and as per this uh, report out of 5 children only 2 children who are needing vitamin a supplementation fulfilled their need of vitamin a they got benefit uh, by the vitamin a supplementation in the year 2020 means three children were still deprived of getting supplementation of vitamin a it was also found that two dose coverage of vitamin a supplementation was below 50% in all regions of the who in the year 2020 in the same report it was found that only 41% of the targeted children were reached in the year 2020 it means out of 159 well where uh, children were still deprived of getting supplementation by the vitamin a in the uh, same uh, report uh, 64 countries were uh, marked as priorities countries for vitamin a requirement so out of this 64 48 countries had two dose coverage in the year 2020 and out of this 48 countries only 11 countries uh, they could 
अचीव द टू डोज कवरेज 80 परसेंट और मोर देन 80 परसेंट सो इट मीन्स अप्रॉक्स 37 सेवन कंट्रीज वेर स्टिल हैड विटामिन ए टू डोज कवरेज लेस देन 80 परसेंट